So then, hi there guys and welcome back to Boat McGrill. And we are back up here at McGrill for yet another fun DIY video over here. As you know, uh, last week and week before that, I finished up the cabin sole, so that's glassed in. And here is actually a piece of the old dinette area that needs to go back into place. So the plan is actually to start rebuilding stuff. What happens when I put in a new cabin sole is that this one's come up a little bit too high because if you all remember this is actually built for being in contact with the hull all the way down so I need to cut this off in the right height so I can put in this and glass it to the hull and uh, to the uh, new cabin sole I got a couple of small uh, things that are gonna help me out here because Here is a piece of for where it was mounted to the hole there. And down here is also a cutout for this stringy piece that's down here. So that's actually going to help me quite a bit when I'm putting this back in. Because that has to correspond with each other. I also do have this piece over here that was probably the, if I recall correctly, it was the corresponding area for the lower piece of plywood that was like a cabin sole but it was like a sole inside there but it was actually uh, just a, a lid that you can lift off so that should be somewhere close to where uh, the uh, supports are now for the cabin sole so that means the cabin sole is building about 15 to 18 millimeters or something like that so instead of rambling you just start building yeah I'm gonna start off with cutting off approximately where this edge of this is and then just try my way down As you can see here, I am starting to putting stuff back together, but it's always an issue, yeah. Uh, actually figuring out how to put all this together. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little bit of a mock-up. And this is probably gonna take a little while, so... What I will do is uh, putting you on a little time-lapse, and you can see actually where we end up.
if you remember when I took this apart, a lot of this stuff was going all the way down to the bilge. And therefore I had, to, since I installed this cabin sole, I had to cut off uh, the excess of the uh, panels and stuff. So that's also done. Now what I've done, I've sanded a bit here there. Uh, um, time to clean off and clean this up with some acetone. And then after that it's time for fiberglassing in this part at least. Um, I'm not going to do all right now because I want this area a little bit I need to have this area a little bit more open for some work in here and when that is actually is done uh, then I can put the front panel on here and start to mount everything back but this is a huge forward leap right now and I'm very happy and just get this in <laughs> guys uh, yeah actually looks like it's back together or really not 100% but on its way uh, this is glassed in and uh, this is just hanging here as a support I measured up all the areas here so that it's square and correct and yep it is anyway uh, that's done just let this cure getting out of here because before the fumes are actually making me brain dead or something if you like my videos over here please consider giving it a little like hit the subscription button down on your right side and of course put the notification bell on all so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and by that take care happy Easter eat a lot of eggs or whatever and candy and see you next time everyone bye